5G is really the future communication standard that's being designed now. 5G is going to enable not only even better smartphones, it's also able to deliver higher data rates. It's able to deliver lower latency. It's able to deliver more mission-critical reliability and availability. These sort of improvements are something that is going to bring in a new range of applications. And I get excited about the possibility for virtual reality, augmented reality-based games, where it may not be too surprising that 10 years from now, people are going to be gathering with their friends in a park and they're all bringing their head-mounted displays and there's communication between those devices, there's communication from the network to those devices. Entirely new mixtures of physical and virtual reality games are being played. If we look at the automotive industry and the ability for these factories themselves to have critical communication within the factory, low latency information exchange between a larger number of industrial equipment within the factory. And then you can also look at the sort of communication technologies that are going to be embedded into the vehicles themselves. So this both from a safety application in terms of communication between vehicles, but then also in terms of amount of data that's being created within a vehicle. Let's take the example of an EMT in terms of relaying information back that they capture upon recognizing the patient and the symptoms. But then there's also the aspect of what sort of data is immediately available to the EMT the ability to have that kind of information availability be more instantaneous, more relevant, and more structured specific to that situation. Qualcomm is driving 5G in many different directions and really pushing the boundaries of what's capable for a wireless network.